fucking dead, bud. What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fail34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Mr. Robbie Season 1, Episode number 10. This is the finale for Season 1. Uh, the last three episodes have been fairly spicy. All right, things have been picking up. Uh, we had some big revelations last episode, uh, and uh, the two have come together. We have Wellick, we have Elliot, I thought he was gonna catch a smoke, instead he caught a deal. So let's just see how this is gonna go. I'm sure the recap is gonna put together whatever needs to be in front of us uh, for this one. So let's just watch it. Let's see what the heck's gonna happen. I've been told that there's gonna be an end credit scene, so I'll be sure to watch it because if I wasn't told that, I definitely would have skipped it and y'all would have definitely got mad. So anyway, with that being said, thanks so much for checking out the season along with me. This show has been pretty dope. I've actually really been enjoying it. Now I kinda wanna look back at some of the things earlier on in the season that I might have missed. Um, but uh, e even just going at it from the cinematography to the directing to the to just its unique sort of atmosphere, I'm interested to see how things are gonna go for this finale and the next season. So with that being said, y'all, as always, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also I wanna give a huge shout out to all the patron fam for uh, those who've been enjoying this, who've been, who advocated for the show and uh, who are supporting the channel and are watching these videos early in case you're interested in getting the full underdraw reactions and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below, as well as the Discord page if you guys wanna hop in on the conversations. Let's see what uh, what's gonna be going on today. Yeet! <laughs> what a way to kick off the episode. <laughs> I think I can land you a pretty lucrative game. Yep, does Angela go Who to the dark you? side? I will never leave you. I will never leave you alone again. Who are you talking to? Duh. Since last month. Executed. Why? Why did you do it? Save the world. I need some answers, folks. <laughs> I was wondering, like, is he pulling the strings all along? Because I showed him here, but... Let's see. Can I get you a drink? Look, Michael, I don't... I don't want anything from you. It's not even your real name. It's, uh... Greg. Lenny. Lenny. How advanced is it? Look, I'm not dying. Sick motherfucker! One of your patients hacked me. His name's Elliot Alderson. Oh. I went to the police already. Holy shit, what are we doing here? This guy really said he had a terminal illness. Jesus Christ. But... What did Elliot do? That's a question. He said there's not only hacked me and ruined my life, he stole my dog on top of it. I mean, Flippers is his, in my certifiable. opinion. But... He must have hacked you, too. He, he did. did. It's a whammy for her. Maybe he said something? Damn, confirmed season two. We're building oh, a case on, against our boy. From... Come on. <laughs> come on. He never told me anything. I can't help you. Tell him, sis. <laughs> what are you asking for? Holy shit. I was just getting into that, Bob. You've been parked in the lot for the past two days. That's as much as you paid me before the credit card systems went down. I need some cash, man. Oh my god. I don't know what to believe anymore, bro. What do you mean you were just parked up here for two days? Tyrells. How long have you been asleep? Seriously, what do you remember? Wait, I don't Nothing, trust buddy. you. Oh my gosh, she's going for it. Yeah, man, I mean, not cool, not cool at all. I thought we were going to execute together. He man, did it without that fucking guy. Case. I'm sure he had his reasons. Besides, what were you there? You see it? You I can't believe that was the biggest moment of the season and then we just slept on it. It executed. What happened to Tyrell? Then you've gone for another three days. Dude, he's so great in this role. Holy shit. I'm just going to call it, Gideon. You have to shut down all safe. Damn. Your number one client is in the middle of a major crisis. You can't escape the fallout from this. As a part time, all their 401ks were tied up in the market, which is expected to plummet once. Get another stress ball, fam. You need it. If what they're saying about these F Society hackers is actually true, you'll now have no debt. This is going to be interesting. I, uh, I know that was the game plan for it to execute, but I didn't really think about what was going to happen in the show once it goes through if it did. I guess this is where the fun begins. Circus music. Evil Corp. Your financial data has been destroyed. Doc, he takes off the mask and it's Elliot's face? Ugh. A world that belongs to us again. A world changed forever. F 
society! <laughs> Those are your eyes, bud. I put all of your talking points on these index cards so that you wouldn't have. God damn it! Will you please just give me my bag for Christ's sake? He just wants to secure I asked the you to bag. Keep it close by. I didn't mean anything by trying to. Never mind what you meant. Just do as I say. Get rid of it. Can I help you? Bruh. What did you say your name was? I'm Ollie. <laughs> what were you working on, with my husband? You've got to help me get out of this. There's I don't know what to do, brother. It. When was the last time you saw him? Not sure. Last week, I think. Really? Why do I feel like she's gonna pull out a gat from the baby no. stroller? Oh my god. Between was he acting strange when you saw him? Because he was acting very strange. Last I saw him. And then he just Bro. vanished. Get out. You still got the murder charge, eh? Almost $400 billion of wealth was lost today. Are you concerned? That's an interesting question. But right now we're all of your servers including your data center in china as well as your offline backups have been destroyed james uh, uh you've been got oh you know when he sips water it's gg you want me to be honest you're right absolutely right personally my life is over <laughs> truth is no one knows how to fix it this is about the only thing we do know for certain is that it's over this will be impossible to fix could you imagine being... He's an off himself! I fucking knew it! Oh my god! I was like, surely he can't jump out of the window. It's too secure of glass. So he brought the gat! It wasn't in the crib! The stroller, it was in the bag! What the fuck? I was gonna say, imagine being one of the bystanders watching this go down and just having the CEO of the company just saying, yeah, we're all fucked. And then imagine him killing himself on camera. Holy shit. <sighs> That's stressful. Nice. Damn, she gave him the bag too. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding a press conference this afternoon since you're new to the PR department. I, I think you should attend. You might pick up some invaluable lessons. No. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. LOL. I was like, you just saw your boss just sh shoot himself in front of oh. you with the bag you gave him. You head ass. You need some new shoes. Those won't do anymore. Blood spatter. Blood, blood splatter. Jesus Christ. The world is in shambles. Ugh. Angela's new job's popping off. Terrell's body is in the trunk. Or something? No? Okay, I thought he was gonna lift the bottom of it, like the, the floor. Oh my god. Don't think that. We'll find him, we'll find him. Buddy, you're getting me stressed out here. Oh my gosh. This is wake- it's like waking up in a really bad mystery room. Oh, here we go. Glasses. Good Google glasses. Alright, come out! Come out, now! I don't think it's like a genie in a bottle, buddy. I don't know. I don't. I'm waiting for you. Did you record it or something? It does say here it's an end of the world party. I don't know what we do here. No fucking way. <sighs> Jesus. I need to get myself arrested. Elliot. I have a confession to make. There you go. All right, you got me. <laughs> you mean to tell me you witnessed this thing and you're here to buy new shoes? Wow. Oh. It's fucked up. Have some moral fiber and leave their asses. Their practices. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but I'll try the Pradas next. <laughs> oh, fucking dad, dude. Break out the Gucci's. I'm tired of hearing your shit. See, now I'm more attentive to, to these scenes. Me. Where is he? You know how this looks, right? Very weird. I don't give a shit. Tell me where he is! Fuck. Yeah, no. to try. Oh my goodness. I gotta tell you, I had sex with your mom this morning and it was fantastic. Don't have time for you, little man. I was real nice smell. <laughs> Fuck in hell. No, here we go. Here we go. At least we're finally getting getting that idea across fully now that we've we had that reveal. Why me? I find you refreshing. You're young, bold, exactly what we need right now. Come on. <laughs> She's playing the game. Between you and me, I was glad he killed himself. He's not a very good person. I felt happy. The world was a little better off knowing he wasn't in it anymore. Ah. You're getting into the secret circles, Angelo. What do you expect? 
She is in the belly of the beast. Ah, the song. <laughs> Money is dead. We are finally woke. For far too long. You have to do something. Buddy, I can't do Say anything. Something. You're hurting the whole family, Elliot. None of them are real. Neither is whoever you're talking to. They're not real. What? You are? Is any of it real? A world built on fantasy emotions in the form of pillaging seminars in the form of me. We toss the remnants in the ever expanding dump cycle. My corporation of the human community. Oh, human 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 in a society. Confirmed. This is all a simulation. Remember how you felt when you were alone? You begged us to help you. You asked us to come. You needed us to come. I want you to leave! We're deep down inside you, Elliot. You can't leave us, and we can't leave you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'll tell you exactly what you're going to do. You're going to walk to the subway. 34th Street. You're going to sit at your computer, watch and enjoy the beautiful carnage that we have all created together. President elect. What? Mission accomplished. Elliot has been inducted to Hogwarts. Oh, is this White Rose? <laughs> I was gonna say what in the one percent is happening, but it's a vibe I'm getting. I was told that you know the person responsible. Yeah, of course we do. We will handle that person as in season we usually two. Do. Emperor Nero played an instrument, the liar. Legend has it that he played it merrily as he watched as he watched Rome burn. And that was my reaction video to Mr. Robot season one, episode 10, AKA the finale here. This was a particularly interesting episode for what they're positioning. It is an interesting way to close the season, but also I think set the stage up for season two. Elliot has, has come to terms I guess not comes to terms fully, but with the voices inside of him, with his with his younger self, his mother, and you know obviously Mr. Robot, aka his father. I think by the end of this episode, realized he's got to listen to them, and it was interesting as the audience members. We we actually got to see how those sequences look to the people in in, in reality uh, when Elliot's talking to you know these other the voices inside of him. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting here, as well as seeing Angela going deeper now into, I guess this 1% circle here, you know, obviously with the pat with, with, with the suicide of James, uh, she, she, she's, she's sort of like, we see her like steadily getting closer and closer. She's sort of doubting herself. Even when she goes, get these, these shoes cleaned and get and pick up a new pair. The, the worker is even saying like, how could you do this? And she's like, go get me another pair of fucking shoes. We're seeing her slowly getting closer and involved with this world. So it's going to be interesting to see her, I guess, descent ascent um into that world you know for a finale this felt rather how would i describe it it wasn't a very like neatly wrapped up finale but it also did sort of feel like it came full circle to an extent we wanted to start the season executing this plan to you know say you know to for f, f society we ended up doing it but we didn't get the i guess like the the generic like hoorah celebration like we wanted to ever come together it was really just elliot on his journey alone trying to recap what the hell's going on i think you know picking up the episode three days have gone by we don't know what the hell happened it was definitely a, a a unique way to go about so you know this finale but i mean for the idea that they wanted to go for it a little a little uh, a little all over the place left me with a ton of questions um but also wrapped up the idea of okay no for real the world is over uh to an extent money debt is all done for everybody um and it's sort of like a new stepping stone. Like, I don't really know what things are, how things are gonna go now, right? Um, it seems that White Rose is back at the end of this episode. So they're working together. They're in cahoots as well as the, uh, these other one percent. They're, wor they're they're worried about restructuring the world. There's there's a lot of mystery to this episode. There was a lot of unknowns here, and I think maybe for some this could have came across as like an, an okay finale. And I think I'm in the in, in in the in the camp where like I appreciate them sort of setting up the stage for season two. And I didn't love this finale, but I, I think it was an interesting setup now for season two. Angela's in a new position. The world's fucked. <laughs> Elliot's hopefully coming back to some, is gonna come back now. Uh, and, and he's sort of come to terms with where he's at after after the events of this finale. 
Um, and now he's going to be listening to the voices. Who was at the door? So there's just a lot of, not a lot of answers, but a lot of questions. And I'm interested to see what direction things are going to take, they're going to go now, right? So yeah, just a lot of interesting elements, I think, for sure. And uh, I think as a finale, didn't love this, but I, I, it left me really intrigued just to see how things are going to continue to escalate now that season one is completed. So yeah, guys, that was my reaction video to the Mr. Rob to the Mr. Robot finale. What did you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I thought the performances here by, you know, uh, Rami Malek were great. There's a few notable, you know, exchanges here that I, I thought worked well. But anyway, with that being said, y'all, we are diving into season two, episode one next. Thanks for sticking around this journey along with me, and uh, I will see you in the next one.